meet and I had some dinner to the house to meet. Thank God for his amazing grace, amen. Grace is certainly amazing, amen. And we're here today, amen, to lift up the name of Jesus, amen. I believe we're going to have a glorious time. As a matter of fact, I know it, amen, because there is a blessing in this room with your name on it, amen. Praise God, amen. I just want you to claim what God has in store for you today. I don't want you to leave here like you came. Amen. But I want you to leave here stimulated, motivated, invigorated. And I want you to leave here having been revived. Amen. Glory to God. Because this is an opportunity, amen, amen, for you to come right into the presence of God. There's nothing like being in God's manifested presence. His manifested presence is his revealed presence. It's when God shows up. Amen. And I heard when the blessing go up. Amen. Praise. When the blessing go up, when the praise go up, blessing come down. Amen. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to invoke God's presence today. Amen. We want to invite him to come in. Amen. Make his aboard with us. Amen. Amen. And amen. Certainly to inspire us in ways that we've never been inspired before to encourage us in ways that we've never been encouraged before, amen. Glory to God. But I want you to fine-tune your mind, amen. Amen. Let's get ready, amen, to take flight, amen. Let's get ready to move into the room of the miraculous, amen, and expect great things from a great God, amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, as we prepare to go before the throne of God today, amen. Hallelujah, I want you to stand with us all over the building. Will you stand with us? Our God is so gracious, so mighty, so powerful, amen. Hallelujah, he's able to do exceeding and abundant above anything that we can ask to think. Hallelujah. Father, today in the name of Jesus, we come before your awesome presence. We ask you now to forgive us for any sin that we may have committed. Every deed, God, that we've done wrong in our body, we ask for forgiveness now. We ask you to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and all filthiness of the flesh. We need your divine presence today in our life. We need an exp we need an expectation, God, of your divine power, God. God, to, to, to just move supernaturally in us. We ask today, Father, that you do what only you can do, God. In the name of Jesus, have thine own way. And we want you to just begin to pour into us right now. Pour fresh oil into us, God. Pour fresh glory into us, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we need your presence as never before, God. We need supernatural power to be in operation in our life. We need you to turn things around. We need increase. We need more than enough right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have your way. Have your way today, God. Have your way to praise God. Let praise be so exuberant, God, that we, when we leave here, that your presence and your power, God, God will just catapult us into areas that we've never been before, God. Let praise go to a, such a, a level, a crescendo, Father, that we never experienced before, God. We need you today, Father. We need you, Father. And we pray, God, that you come if you got to come on riding on the wings of the wind. But come see about us, Father. Come to our rescue, God. Heal every broken heart today. Mend, this, mend our hearts today, God. In the name of Jesus, restore, God. Father, restore today everything that the king of worm has destroyed. Restore, God. Give us the peace in the midst of our storm, God. In the midst of our struggles, God. Turn the evil away. Bring the devil on every side, God. We stand in your presence, God. We need a fresh anointing. We need fresh wind, fresh power, and fresh oil, God. Pour it to us right now. We need revelation knowledge. Pour it to us right now. Oh, God. Pour it to us, God. Pour it to us, our cup running over, Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, great God, Jehovah, Lord God Almighty. You who rides upon the wings of the wind, make the cloud your chariot. You who walks between the golden candlestick. We need presence and power. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. And I pray for every person here under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, that they have a God encounter today. 
that they encounter you in ways that they never encountered you before, Father. That they hear a fresh word from you, Father. In the name of Jesus, speak, Lord, in this house today. Throw your weight around, God. Encourage those who are weak in mind and slow in heart, God. In the name of Jesus. Build us up when we're torn down and make us strong in you and in the power of your might. We need the whole arm of God. We got a devil to fight, God. We got demons to drive out, God. We need power from on high. Oh, God, release your divine power. Release present, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the name above every name. Your name is a strong tower. We who are righteous run unto it, and we are saved. Show yourself, Father, be strong in our behalf. Have your way in this house. God, have your way in this house. Have your way in this house. In the mighty name of Jesus. We'll give you praise. we give you glory. We give you honor. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Come on, give the Lord a good praise offering. Isn't the Lord good? It, come on, praise him like you love him. Amen. Don't patty cake it. Come on. Praise him like you love him. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. You can do better than that. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know you could do better than that. My God. Our God is so awesome and so powerful. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The scripture for the day is Psalm number 27. Amen. The 27th book of Psalm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You get it in your Bible. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemy and my foe, came upon me and eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his provision. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemy and round about me. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice and answer me. My heart said unto me, Thy face, O Lord, will I see. Hide not thy face far from me. Neither put thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God, of my salvation. When my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and the hearers of the doers of his holy word. Amen. This time our praise team is coming. God bless you. God bless our praise team. God bless you. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice. Can I hear somebody just shall rejoice? Rejoice! And be glad in it. Come on, put your hands together and bless the name of the Lord with us this morning. Hey!
is glory above the nations. Oh, the Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And there's glory above the nations. And there's glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And there's glory above the nations. And there's glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And there's glory above the nations. And there's glory above the nations. Oh, give God the
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, if you really believe he deserves it, I need to hear you a little bit louder than that. Yes. I need you to give God a real hallelujah. hallelujah. One, two, three. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening in your life, no matter what the enemy is trying to show you, all you do is ignore what you see and live by faith. And faith says, faith says I'm healed. Faith says I'm delivered. Faith says I'm set free. All you got to do is just say yes to it. Open up your mouth one more time and just shout it. Yes to the Lord. Yes to the Lord. Yes to the Lord. Yes to the Lord. Say yes. is a sign. It's a signal. It allows the enemy to understand that he thought he had me. He thought yes. that he won. He thought that he was had the victory in my life. But I say, I have the victory. Yes. God has made me victorious. Yes. I'm opening up my mouth because victory is already mine. Yes. If you knew my story, you knew what I meant. If you, you knew what I've been through, if you knew what happened, what the enemy tried to throw at me, yes. you understand when I say that this is war right yes. here. Every time I open up my mouth, this is a war cry. Yes. A shout unto the Lord that the enemy has lost and God has won in my life. Come on. 
said she'll never be able to speak above a whisper she won't be able to walk she won't be able to talk she'll be developmentally delayed but what am I doing right now I don't I don't even whisper my worship when I try to be quiet I can't be quiet when I think of the goodness of Jesus and I He's done for me. My soul. My soul. My soul. Cries out hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. When I think about every baby that was born the day I was born in that NICU did not survive but God let me live and 40 years later, I'm still declaring his glory. Open up my mouth. If you ain't got to open yours, I'm going to open up my mouth and say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I know exactly where I'd be. I'd be in a pine box. I'd be dead. The worms would be eating my flesh, but I'm still here. And it's only by the grace of 
grace of God. Y'all, I'm just a little off right now, because see, in 2020, the devil tried to take me out again. But I'm still here. And I can't help but open up my mouth. I, I can't help but give God everything I got. To, so if you don't mind, just give me about 30 more seconds to say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my life. Thank you for waking me up for one more time. When the enemy tried to kill me, you didn't let him take me. When he tried to block my voice, when he tried to silence me, you gave me another chance. When COVID-19 knocked at my door, you gave me a way of escape. You had the doctors know exactly what to do, and you did not let me die. I'm here. I'm here. great. If you just help me just give a few more moments of worship to just extol him. Give him all that he deserves. He's a great God. He's a great God.
it. You are great, God. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are great, God. You are. You are. You are. You are. So great. So great. So great. So great. So great. Here you go. Say, say. You are great, God. You are great, God. Sing it again. Sing it again. Say. You are great, God. You're a great God. You're so great, 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 so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a great God. You're changing things around. You're changing it around. You're a great. You're a great God. You're turning around in my favor. You're a great God. You're a great God. So great, 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 so great. You're a great God. You're a great God. Hey, you're a great God. You're so great, so great, so great.
Yes, Lord. You're so holy. You're so worthy. You're so mighty. You're so awesome. You deserve all praise. You deserve all worship. You deserve all honor. You deserve my praise. Thank God for the blood. 
Forefront prophet shepherd. Continue to worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you for your blood. Lord, we thank you for your blood. Somebody just wave your hands right where you are. Listen, this type of atmosphere is conducive for whatever. It's conducive for whatever. Whatever it is, whatever it is, hallelujah, whatever it is, glory to God, whatever it is. Come on, some of us are dealing with some things right now. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, your worship, my Katabohoshia, your worship is working for you right now. Hallelujah. Come on, whatever your this is, whatever this thing that is troubling you, whatever this thing that is ailing you, whatever this thing that is fighting you, whatever this thing is that is opposing you, Hallelujah, let your worship work for you right now. Come on, just slip them hands up right where you are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every hand lifted. Glory to God. From the highest of heights. To the depths of the sea, creations reveal your majesty. From the cosmos, fragrance of spring, every creature unique in the song that it sings. All exclaiming, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. Somebody ought to help me worship him. Oh, powerful, untamable. All struck, we fall to our knees as we come. Proclaim, you are amazing, God. Who has sold every life and both where it should go? Oh, seen heavenly storehouses laid in with snow. Imagine the sun and gave thought to its light. Yeah, yet conceals it to bring us the coolness of life. Oh, none can fathom, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky, and you know them by name. You are. You are amazing, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All powerful, untamable. All struck with bones to our knees and we humbly proclaim. You are amazing, God. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I said, You are amazing, God. Come on, if he's been good to you, wave your 
your hand and tell him right now, you are amazing, God. Come on. I don't know what you need, but I guarantee I'll do it for you. You are amazing, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are amazing, God. Come on, whatever it is. You are amazing, God. Oh, you are amazing. Come on, even if it hadn't worked out already, just declare out of your mouth that you're amazing, God. Hey, God, come on, Doctor. I declare it right now. You are amazing, God. Yeah. Oh, hear me in my body. You are amazing, God. Come on, touch my mind right now. You do, 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 do. I'm amazing, God. Come on, move in my family right now like only you can. You are amazing, God. Come on, touch somebody in the service today. You are amazing, God, yeah. Come on, move in our finances, God, like only you can. Yeah, do, 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 do. We're amazing, God. I know it, I believe it, I receive it. You are, you are amazing, God. I can't find nobody like you, God. Come on, just declare it out of your mouth. There is none like you. Oh, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky. You know them by name. Ain't nobody like you, no. Ain't nobody like you know, all powerful, untamable, most truthful to our needs as we humbly proclaim, you are amazing God. Come on, will you worship him like it's already done right now? Come on, while the worship was going on, I got on my knees in the back, hallelujah, because I understand that when we worship him, in spirit and in truth. Come on, he got a come through for you. Yeah, hey, yeah. You are, you are, you are. You're amazing, God. Yes, I'm talking about that other case, You're amazing. That's about she, uh. Say, you're amazing. You are, you do, you are. It was not the doctor or the lawyer. Come on, it wasn't my paycheck. It wasn't my friends or my family. But you, 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 You are the source of my strength, and you are the strength of my life, oh Lord, and I lift my hands in total praise. The source of my strength. Somebody ought to just declare it out of your mouth right now. Yes, you are the strength of my life. I said, I lift my hands. 
praise. I wish I had a few worshipers right now that'll help me. saying it done. It's already done. Just say amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us ain't come to play no games with the enemy today. Come on. If you need God to move in your life like he's never done before, just wave those hands right where you are and tell him one more time, you are the source of my I lift my voice. Glory to God. I lift my heart in total praise to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now just wave your hand and say, I love you, Jesus. Glory to God. I can't hear but a few people. Come on, wave your hand one more time and say, I love you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You're my strength today. I ain't going to hold y'all long, I promise. But, 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 but some of us really need like a miracle right now. Some of us need God to go and touch some family members that ain't with us right now. And I'm reminded of the passage of scripture. The Bible said that there was a woman that came to Jesus. She was Greek, a Seraphonician by nation. And her daughter had a devil in her. Y'all ain't gonna help me here back home. And the Bible said that as she began to beseech the Lord, for this miracle and for this healing he said it's not neat to take hallelujah the bread and cast it unto the dogs and she said yes lord but even the dogs eat of the crumbs from up on the the master's table i come to tell somebody right now that if you just grab a fruit come on you ain't got to have a whole loaf right now hallelujah you ain't got to have a whole slice right now but i got some crumbs in my hand right now i got some crumbs that i'm consuming right now and it's my worship. Jesus began to tell the woman, he said, go your way because by the time you get home, I want to prophesy to about 30 people and tell you right now that by the time you get home, the devil's going to be gone. Have I got a witness in here? Throw your hand up and shout, it's over now. That trial you've been dealing with, that issue you've been upset about, the tears that you've had to cry, the negative bank account balance, the sickness in your body, the hell in your marriage, the confusion in your children, it's over now. Yes, it is. Won't you look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, the way we just worship God, the way we just praise God, the way we just lifted him up, he's got to move in your life. Somebody say, Lord, do it for me. Clap your hands and give him praise right where you are. Somebody say, Lord, do it for me. Ooh, 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 yeah. Somebody say, Lord, do it for me. I want to prophesy and tell you it's already done. Glory to God. While you're, while you're worshiping and while you're praising God, let's give God an awesome round of applause. Amen. For the apostle, young lasses, senior. Hallelujah. I just call him dad. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give God praise for him. Let's give God praise for evangelist Laster. 
hallelujah, affectionately known as mom. Come on here. Amen. I give God praise for my brother, my friend, amen, Bishop Young Lassa Jr. Hallelujah, amen. And also thank God for First Lady. Hallelujah. She texts me uh, one night, hallelujah, not too long ago. I didn't have a number. Amen. She just said, hey, prophet, this first lady, I already knew who it was. Come on here. Amen. So I thank God for her. Amen. Let me tell you something. The extent of this friendship is not no two, three months, four, five years. Come on. We go way back. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm telling you, there are some things, amen, some bonds that cannot be broken. Glory to God. And I thank God for them. Amen. I'm telling you, hallelujah, we ain't got to talk every day. We ain't got to talk every month. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are connected in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank God for my family making it in. Amen. My mother, Pastor Alma. Amen. My mother-in-law. Amen. Minister Carolyn. Amen. My wife, Minister Letitia. And, my, and three of my six beautiful babies. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I thank God for them. Amen. My baby, baby, she ain't never seen daddy like this. She's like, what's going on, my daddy? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we thank God. We give God glory. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. For the awesome worship. Amen. Thank God for, amen, the woman of God. Hallelujah. Prophetess. Amen. Clarita. Amen. We give God praise for her, her husband. Amen. We thank God for all of the musicians. Hallelujah. Y'all had it rocking in here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I had to go back and find me a corner. You do know that the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 30, amen, that uh, uh, when David and his boys got back, amen, from fighting with the Amalekites, that they found out that the city, Ziklag, was smitten and burned with fire. Not only that, but their sources of love was taken. Their wives, their children, amen, their, their servants, all of them were taken. Their cattle, all of their resources, everything that they possessed was taken and the city was burned. The same jokers that David was out there fighting with say, wait a minute, we've been out here fighting and we come back and now all our stuff gone. Oh, we going to stone you. It's your fault. You do understand they'll do that, right? Come on, they'll laugh with you on Monday, then want to stone you on Tuesday. I ain't talking about nobody in Lakeland, though. Amen. And, 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 and the Bible said that David, hallelujah, he had to get by himself and he encouraged himself in the Lord his God and began to pray said, oh Lord, shall I pursue after this troop? And if I go after them, shall I overtake them? Can I prophesy and tell everybody today, amen, whether you're live or whether you're watching live, amen, that this is a season of taking over. Oh, listen, I ain't got to get no hand claps today. I'm prophesying to me and whoever else want to receive it. I say this is a season for takeover. Come on, some of you about to take over some stuff, hallelujah, that's been all in disarray, some stuff that's been uh, 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 an author of confusion, hallelujah, some stuff that's gotten a hold of your family. Glory to God. Get yourself by yourself, come on here and get in the presence of God. Hallelujah. You got to remember, amen, when, 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 when Jacob, amen, uh, was going through his thing, amen, the Bible said that he sent his servants and his wives and his, his children, and he sent them all before him, and he began to stay back and get in the presence of God. The Bible said he wrestled, hallelujah, he wrestled uh, with the man. Y'all ain't going to help me here. And he said, you know what? I'm not going to let you go except you bless me. I wish I had about six people right now that's got a spirit of God. I don't care how long it takes. I didn't come for church as usual. Come on here. I didn't come hallelujah to, to get my ears tickled hallelujah I didn't come to just jump and hop around but God I'm not gonna let you go hallelujah I'll never let you go hallelujah except my change come until my blessing come until my miracle hits my house somebody ought to be determined in your spirit and just throw your hand up and say it's me oh God I said it's me, oh, oh God. And I'm standing in the need. Look at, 
let somebody tell them, take over it all. Let's go quickly. First Peter, glory to God, chapter number five. Let me tell you something. It ain't nothing like a good worship release. Hallelujah. When you can get, get, get in the presence of God and just let it all go, come on here, because you, you, you ain't got to hide nothing. Come on, because he knew it all anyway. And you can just let it go. Hallelujah. And let God have his way. Hallelujah. Prophesy to your neighbor one more time. Tell him it's already done. First Peter, chapter number five. Now, I ain't going to hold y'all long. First Peter, chapter number five, and verse number ten. Ah, yes, God. Feel an anointing for miracles, signs, and wonders. I feel a fire in my spirit right now. I ain't talking about no fire to consume or to burn, but favor, increase, release, and elevation. God is releasing it to you right now. Hallelujah. It's turning and it's working in your favor. It's turning, I'm trying to get to the scripture, but it's turning and it's working in your favor. Some of y'all got appointments this week. Come on here. Some of y'all, hallelujah, got to gotta, gotta stand before a doctor this week. Hallelujah. You might have to stand before a judge this week. Hallelujah. You might be standing before a loan officer this week. Hallelujah. But let me prophesy and tell you that it's turning right now. I don't care which way it was before. But as of right now, somebody will just throw your hand up and say, it's turning around for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. First Peter, let me get this out of here. First Peter chapter 5. Thank you, musicians. Y'all so wonderful. Let me tell you something. Y'all stick by real close because I'm going to need you in about seven, maybe eight minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. But I ain't going to be long because I got a praise I got to get out of me. I put on, when I shared the flyer yesterday, I say with the week that I've had, the devil is in trouble today. That devil, let me tell you something. I don't threaten the devil too much. You understand? I just serve the Lord. I praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. But the devil is in trouble today. Glory to God. I, I, I can't remember which one of the rappers he said, but I think it was Dr. Dre. Y'all excuse me. Amen. Bishop Dre, he, he said, you know, y'all, y'all going to mess around and turn me back to the old me. Hallelujah. Now, he talking about banging and all that good stuff. Hallelujah. But I had to remind the devil of who I am. Some of y'all, you better come on here. You better stop. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 succumbing to the enemy. Hallelujah. Stop giving in to the enemy and remind that devil who you are. I can't get no help right here. You got to remind that devil. You come on here. Y'all remember what prophetess Beyonce said? Come on here. She said, you must not know about me. Come on here. Amen. I had to tell the devil, hey, I don't know if you forgot. Hallelujah. Amen. But I am a child of God. I am, y'all let go help me here, a child of God. And when I go before him, hallelujah, when I boldly go before the throne of grace, hallelujah, he works in my favor. First Peter chapter 5. I gotta, I gotta move quick now. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while. All right, I'm, I'm preaching to me today. Hallelujah. It's all right. I'm good with that. After that ye have suffered a while, he says, he'll make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Father, help me preach your word with power and authority, clarity and understanding. In Jesus' name, Jermaine, decrease. Spirit of the Lord, increase and have thine own way. In Jesus' name, amen. Look at your neighbor and tell them whatever your this is, tell them it's turning around right now. Tell them after this comes greatness. They didn't believe you. Tell them after this comes prosperity. They still ain't believe you. Tell them after this comes a healing in your body. Come on, after this comes reconciliation in your family. After this, come on here, your ministry will thrive again. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. After this, your business get ready to flourish. After that ye have 
suffered a while. Yeah. The problem that we have is we don't want to do no suffering. We don't want to go through nothing. You know, we just got, you know, my mama been saved forever. I just got saved, so move for me and move for me right now. He says, no, if you want to experience something great, if you want to walk in greatness, glory to God, if you want to walk in an anointing that you've never walked in before, he said, you got to go through a little something, something. Come on here, you got to go through some fire. I told a friend of mine the other day, I said, man, I'm going through hell and high water all at the same time. I don't understand how it can happen, but I'm going through it right now. But one thing I am confident of, one thing I am sure of, God holds my hand. He walks with me. I wish I had a sanctified praiser here. He talks with me. He tells me that I'm his own. Hallelujah. His grace is amazing. Y'all better help me here. And whatever it is that I'm dealing with right now, I do understand that it's not greater. Y'all heard the woman of God saying how great is our God. Look at somebody tell him he's a great God. The God of all grace who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that ye have suffered a while. He says there's a couple of things I'm going to do for you. First I'm going to make you perfect. Understand this here. Uh, that does not mean uh, without blemish. Come on here. But that means a level of maturity. Hallelujah. Because some of us have gotten to a place to where we don't respond to things like we used to. Y'all ain't going to help me here. We don't react to things like we used to. I is there anybody else in here besides me that can just remember the most recent this or circumstance or situation that you've been in and you can really look back and say, now, th if this was last year, come on here, this would have been a whole different outcome if this was five years ago come on here I, I, I might not have I might not have resulted in prayer you understand hallelujah he says I make you perfect suffering hallelujah causes perfection to come in your life suffering a little bit come on here amen after you suffered a while he said you gotta suffer forever he just said after that you have suffered a while I'm gonna bring something in your life that's gonna help you grow I posted something on Facebook the other day and it says you know that you're growing amen when 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 you can treat people who don't even like you right come on here amen somebody somebody ain't there yet come on here but just say lord keep working on me keep working on me hallelujah when you can shake the hands of your enemy hallelujah amen when you can when you can sit back come on here now don't be foolish come on here amen but treat everybody right treat everybody right treat every Body. Somebody said what? Right. He says, after you've suffered a while, I'll make you perfect. Now, I'll establish you. Come on here. Amen. Some things that have been chaotic and some things that are, have been out of order. Come on here. That, that very thing that has caused you to suffer. He says, now I'm going to bring a sense of establishment. I'm going to bring uh, a sense of security. Hallelujah. A foundation into your life. He says, and not only that, but I will settle you. Amen. I will strengthen you and settle you. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all. Amen. But a settlement, hallelujah, comes. Uh, if you look in the court, it comes after uh, an act to, that offended you in some sort of way or another. Maybe you got in a car accident. Hallelujah. And you received the settlement. Come on. Maybe somebody, you know, jumped on you that shouldn't have jumped on you. And, you know, and, and, and you received a settlement. God says, now I am the one that's negotiating here. I'm the one that's uh, defending here and prosecuting here. So you just sit back and, and take the settlement that I offer. You do understand that a settlement, hallelujah, has to be accepted, right? Amen. Come on here. I can't just offend you and say, well, I'll give you $50. That might not be sufficient to what I've done to you. Amen. But when we reach a settlement, that means we've come to an agreement that what you're offering me will, 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 will suffice uh, uh, or, or cover what I've been through as a result of you. God says, now that you've suffered for a while, I'll make you perfect. He says, I'll, I'll strengthen you, I'll establish you, and I'll settle you. Let's journey quickly to 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. Glory to God. Starting at verse number 8. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Dad, I feel good in my spirit right now. Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 I've been all messed up in my flesh. Glory to God. I've been messed up in my emotions. Hallelujah. I've been messed up. Hallelujah. In, in my mind a little bit. Glory to God. But I thank God right now that what, what the devil meant for bad, what the enemy meant for bad, God going to flip that thing and turn it around for my good. As long as your spirit stay right. You can go through some stuff in your body. You can go through a little sickness because my spirit is right and God's going to make me whole. 2 Corinthians chapter number 4 verse number 8. The Bible says, we are troubled on every side yet not distressed. My mama going to help me preach it. Glory to God. We are perplexed but not in despair. Persecuted. I need about seven people to lift your voice and shout, persecuted. <laughs> yes, God. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Yeah. Glory to God. He says we are trouble on every side. I believe I'll testify here. Come on here. We are troubled on every side. We used to sing a song back in the 90s, glory to God. Hallelujah. It said, every time I turn around, he keeps on blessing me. Some of us got a testimony right now. It seems like every time I turn around, I've got opposition and I've got uh, obscurities and I've got trouble in front of me. I got trouble behind me. I got, I got the enemy on my right and I got the enemy on my left. We are troubled on every side. Glory to God, yet not distressed. Hallelujah. If you should find yourself in a state of distress, then you got to do like David. David said in Psalm 118 in verse 5 he said I cried to the Lord in my distress and he answered me glory to God can you point your hand at somebody and just tell them God's getting ready to answer you don't you think your tears have been in vain don't you think your crying has been in vain don't you think God ain't heard your prayers that's right mama if ain't no come on put your hand on yourself and say God's getting ready to answer me I cried to the Lord in my distress and he answered me and then guess what? He set me in a large place. Can I prophesy to about five more people and tell you that the place that you've been in, God said, get ready for upgrade now. Get ready to go somewhere you ain't never been before. Get ready, come on here, to, to move into something you ain't never lived in before. Get ready to drive. I don't know who I came to preach to today. I wish I had me a mirror right here. I preached to myself. Get ready to drive something you ain't never drove before. Get ready to operate in an anointing that you've never operated in before. I cried to the Lord in my distress and he answered me and he set me in a large place. Then he goes along to say the Lord is on my side. I wish I had about five people that I can encourage right now that maybe you felt alone in the last season. Maybe you felt all by yourself in the last season. Maybe you felt like nobody was in your on your corner or in your corner or on your team in the last season. Hallelujah. Let me help you here. The Lord is on your side. Look at a neighbor and tell them, you might walk out on me. It's okay. I still love you. You might kick me to the curb. It's okay. I still pray for you. But one thing I'm certain of and one thing I'm sure of is that the Lord is on my side. If you're going to have anybody on your side, make sure God's there with you. Come on, if you're going to have anybody fighting for you, I got some homies. Come on here. I received a few phone calls the other day. Come on here. Do I need to come to Lake Wells? Do I need to come handle some things? Do you need me to come shake up some dust? I said, no, what you got to remember, I thank God for you, and I know, you know, you and me together, we can definitely get the job done, but if I'm going to have anybody fighting for me, I'd rather be God. I heard Bishop Paul more than say a long time ago. I'll be there in a minute. Huh? He said, God plus one is the majority. Come on here. There can be 30 people against you, but as long uh, as you got King Jesus, long as you got King Jesus. Come on here. You don't need nobody else. Won't you lead? Uh, oh, no, you can't touch them, but look at them uh, and tell them the Lord is with me. Uh, the Lord is on my side. Uh, no matter what I go through and no matter how I get there, uh, one thing 
thing I know for certain is God is right there with me and he's going to carry me along the way. I feel like preaching on a Sunday afternoon. Look at a neighbor and tell him God's getting ready to do it now. Uh -huh. Amen. He said, we're troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We're perplexed, uh, but not in despair. Persecuted, persecuted, uh, persecuted, persecuted, uh, but not forsaken. Uh, don't you understand that somebody's mission in life is to persecute you? Somebody's goal in life is to come up against you. Somebody's mission in life is to work a little hoodoo voodoo on you. Somebody's mission in life, come on here, to spread rumors and lies about you. Somebody's objective and mission in life is to see you down and to see your downfall. But the writer says here we're persecuted uh, but not forsaken. Jesus said, uh, Lord, I'll be with you always, even until the end of time. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, oh, look at that same neighbor you was talking to a few minutes ago uh, and say, neighbor, if you decide to leave me, if you decide to persecute me, if you decide to conspire against me, if you decide to come up against me, tell them it's all all right because the Lord, he's on my side. You to look at somebody in here and say, neighbor, say, oh, neighbor, tell them the Lord, he's on my side, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. I need a witness, Dad. I call Job to the witness stand. Uh, Job will begin to testify and tell you. Uh, I went through all types of things in my life. Uh, my family was attacked, preacher. Uh, uh -huh, my camels and my and, and, and my cows and cattle was attacked. Uh, uh, God, my household was in disarray. Uh, everything, my character was up for attack. Uh, and I wasn't bothering nobody and didn't do nobody no harm but it was the Lord God it was the Lord God that said Satan where are you going Satan said to and fro throughout the earth seeking whom I may devour and I heard God say have you considered my servant Jermaine? I mean Job he said and have you considered my servant young? I mean Job. Have you considered my servant Elm? I mean Job. Ah, Satan said, no. The problem with that is you got a hedge of protection around them. The problem with that is uh, you got something uh, uh, blocking the trials that I can bring into his life. Uh, God said, wait a minute, Satan. Uh, I'll remove that hedge for a season. I'll remove that protection for just a little while. You ever felt like you wasn't being protected? Uh, he said, I'll remove it for just a little while. Because uh, one thing I know about Jim I mean Job, uh, is he ain't going to turn his back on me. He ain't gonna lose his faith. He ain't gonna doubt me. But no matter what comes his way, he'll praise me for the rest of his days. So I'll let you touch everything around him. We are troubled on every side. I'll let you touch everything around him. But you cannot destroy him. Cast down but not destroyed look at your neighbor and say neighbor tell them the devil is in trouble right now tell them the devil is in trouble right now cause I got a new attorney here I got a new representative here I got a new fighter here and it ain't money Mayweather but it's G-O-D my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Deliverer, my Rock in a weary land, 
my way maker, my healer, my provider, my protector. God is my everything. I got to drop down the verse 17 and 18 and I got to get out of here. Bible said for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. I come to tell somebody no matter how much you cried about it, no matter how, how, how fast it made your heart palpitate, no matter how confused it made you in your mind, God said this, somebody shout this. God said this somebody shout this he said this is just a light affliction it seems heavy to you but my ways are not your ways it seems impossible to you but my thoughts are not your thoughts he said this is a light affliction and the good news about it is it only lasts for a moment y'all remember the late great Reverend Timothy Wright he sang a song he may not come when you want it him, uh, but he's always on time. Uh, come on, got to the hook and said, I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. Uh, I'm getting ready to fly my kite here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Uh, tell them one thing I'm glad about right now. Uh, tell them I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. Uh, I've been going through hell and high waters. I'm going to change keys, bro. Uh, I've been going through the fire and the flood. Uh, I've been going through things that I thought was going to take me out. Uh, I've been going through some stuff that I thought was going to make me depressed. Uh, Y'all don't want to talk back to me here. Uh, I've been going through some stuff that I thought was going to make me shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, but this thing that I've been through, uh, it was only a light affliction uh, and it was only for a moment. Uh, he said for our light affliction, which is but for a moment it worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we look at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal or temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal uh, I gotta get up out of here but won't you lean on the neighbor now uh, uh, we social distance and just look at him and say neighbor I uh, say oh neighbor uh, tell him I don't know the extent of your trials Tell them, I don't know the extent of what you've been going through. Uh, but one thing I do know is that we all been going through something. Uh, but God said, take it out of your hands uh, and put it in my hands. Uh, is there anybody in the city of Lakeland today uh, that's ready for God to show up and show out in your life? Uh, you ought to just wave your hand and shout, God, I'm ready. Uh, because everything that I've been going through, uh, I thought it was going to make me give up. Uh, but I'm so glad, uh, I'm so glad that the seed of righteousness uh, is planted down on the inside of me. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that even those that come up against me, uh, I got God on my side. Uh, Jesus said that a man's foes uh, are they of his own household. Uh, sometimes it's the ones that's closest to you uh, that inflict the most pain on you. Uh, but that's all right. Yeah. Tell a neighbor. Thank you, sis. Uh, tell him, say, neighbor. Tell him it's been rough uh, and it's been tough. Uh, it's been hard. And it's been rough, but I feel like the timex. I think it was. I take a licking and I keep on ticking. Lean on the neighbor and say, neighbor, everything that I've been going through lately, I had to go through it for where I'm headed to. As long as you're going through, y'all, I come to tell you that it'll be soon over. Just don't get stuck in the middle. But lean on your neighbor and say, neighbor, tell them if you've been stuck lately, tell them the way my praise is set up right now. I said the way 
today. My faith is set up right now. You can't stay in the place that you've been in. You can't stay in the condition that you've been in. But after this, God going to make you perfect. He's going to establish you. He's going to strengthen you. And he's going to settle you. Y'all ready to ride? Look at somebody and say, neighbor, troubles will soon be over. Hard days will soon be over. Disappointment will soon be over. Darkness will soon be over. Y'all do me a favor and just hit me and ease off it. I said, neighbor, oh, neighbor, whatever it is, don't you know that God, my God is able. On the way over to the church today, I begin to sing the song in the car that Twinkie and, and, and Mr. Clean say. They said, accept what God allows. Is there anybody here that don't quite understand your circumstance? That don't quite understand your dilemma? That don't understand what you're dealing with? I stop by to tell you if God allowed it, He's going to bring you through it. I'm feeling happy in my spirit. I said, if God, if God allowed it, he's going to see you through it. Have I got a preacher in here? Throw your hand up on your ear like a preacher and say, neighbor, oh, neighbor, if God lets you go through it, you got to have the faith like Job. You got to have the patience like Job. You got to block everybody out of your ear that's saying anything contrary to what the word of God says. But you got to get like Job. Job said, naked I came and naked I shall return. All of the days of my appointed time. I'm going to wait uh, until my change comes. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that'll tell the Lord, uh, I don't mind waiting. Uh, I don't mind waiting. Uh, if it take a few more days, uh, if it take a few more weeks, uh, if it take a few more years, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind waiting. Because I know if you ordained it, uh, then I'm going to be all right. Uh, look at somebody, uh, and I got to get out of here uh, and say, neighbor, uh, tell them nothing can stop us. Y'all don't want to have no church with me. Uh, I said, look at that neighbor uh, and tell them nothing can stop us. Uh, we all the way up. Uh, is there anybody here? Uh, that got a testimony like this. I started from the bottom, but I'm now I'm up top. I started from the bottom, but now I'm here. I'm not arrogant about it. I'm not conceited about it, but I'm gonna boast on my God because it was no goodness of my own, but God, he lifted me up. He picked me up and he turned me around and he placed my feet on a solid ground. Testify to your neighbor and say, neighbor, come on, say neighbor. You can stay that way if you want to stay that way. But if you give God some glory, if you give God some praise, if you offer him some worship, I prophesy that over the next three days, it's turning around. I said the next three days, it's turning around. Yeah, the next three days, it's working out. The next three days, I'm healed in my body. The next three days, 
my family gonna be all right. The next three days, weeping may endure for night, but joy, somebody shout joy. Somebody shout joy. Somebody shout joy. But joy, it comes in the morning. And I know it's 145 in the afternoon. But look at your neighbor and say good morning, neighbor. I said look at him and say good morning. Somebody said that don't make sense. It's PM, it's afternoon. Why are we saying good morning? Because prophetically, it's your morning season. It's your season of joy. It's your season of happiness. I said after this comes joy. After this comes peace. After this comes victory. After this, vengeance is mine. Save the Lord. Take your hands off it and let God do the work. Whoa. I said, take your hands off it. Take your hands off it. devil is in trouble because I call myself trying to do God a favor put my hands to it let, 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 let me work it out let me fix it but God said all I need you to do is worship me in spirit and in truth all I need you to do is praise me from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. And this thing, I, I can't tell you what your this is right now. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't tell you what your this is right now. I'm about to praise God. But somebody ought to lift your voice and shout, this is over. Somebody ought to shout the benediction again. This is over. Somebody out of the head again out of your mouth. This is over. It won't always be like this. God will prevail. Everything that concerned me, and sooner than later, it will turn in my favor. Oh, it's turning around. Turning around for me, I said it won't always be like this. God will perfect everything that concerned me. In my favor, oh, yeah, it's turning around for me. Come on, worship. 
Come on, everybody just lift your hands up and worship right where you are. Come on here. It won't always be like this. I wish I had somebody down to declare God will perfect that concerning me. Yeah. And sooner than later, it will turn in my favor. Oh, yeah. It's turning around for me. I'm going to say it till you get it in your spirit. You're facing troubles right now. Thank you. It won't always be like it. Anybody believe God will perfect that concerning me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sooner than later, it will turn in my favor. Oh, it's turning around, it's turning around for me. See, we said sooner than later. Come on, come on, we're going to sing it one more time. It won't always be like this. Anybody dealing with something right now, God will perfect that concerning me. Sooner, sooner than later, hey, it will turn in my favor. Come on, sooner. Sooner than later, in a turn. Oh, you better speak it over yourself. Sooner, God's gonna turn it around. It won't last too long. Come on, you ain't gotta wait till next year. But soon. God's gonna turn it in my favor sooner than later. It will turn in my favor. Hey, yeah. Encourage your neighbor, don't be selfish. Tell them it's turning around for you. Oh, you come on, you don't know what they're dealing with right now. Tell them it's turning around for you. Have I got a witness in here? Come on, prophetically. They don't want to talk to you. Put your hand on yourself. It's turning around for me, yeah. It's turning around. It's turning around. Whoa, it's turning around for me. It's already worked out. It's already done. I ain't waiting on God to make a way. He's already made the way. I ain't waiting on God to open the door. He's already opened the door. Uh, I might, I might need the address, <laughs> but the door is already open. Turn in, turn in. Young man, listen real quick. Amen. I got through all of that. The young man with the white shirt on, um, do me a favor. Just lift your hand like this. Yes. There is a move of God that's getting ready to take place in your life. God told me to tell you that he's coming through for you. I don't know what the opposition is or what's coming against you but I'm prophesying to you right now listen to me God is working no I'm sorry God has worked it out you hear me let me tell you something fire is surrounding you I don't know if you was here when I said it earlier, but this fire is favor, increase, release, and elevation. Favor, increase, 
release and elevation. I'm going to say it one more time because you're just connecting with your spirit. Favor. Increase. Release. And elevation. God is anointing your hands right now. Getting ready to put your hands to some things that's going to cause prosperity to find you like never before. I see you, I see you at a crossroad in the spirit of decisions. And you like, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I go this way? Do I go that way? I hear the Lord saying, stand still. All the time, it ain't for us to move God says stand still in this season because the miracle is coming to you you ain't got to go after it it's coming to you can I get three people to point your hand at him and say Lord do it I can't hear nobody say Lord do it it's done in Jesus name it's turning around for me yeah. it's turning around for me Turning around for me. It's turning around for me. Uh, woman of God, uh, prophetess, uh, I know you're dealing with the baby right now, but lift your hands because uh, the Lord is causing some things from the past. Um, what, what we might consider a missed opportunity or or a sacrificed opportunity. Some things we some things we let go because of what we do. The Lord says that He's causing a representation of opportunities to come to you. There's some things that you like, if I would have did or if I should have, you ain't gotta testify that no more because the opportunities, opportunities are coming back around full circle. God said, and you know this, but God told me to remind you that your steps are ordered. When your steps are ordered, ain't, ain't no such thing as I, I went the wrong way. Or I went, I went, I, I, I made the wrong decision. No, my step, the steps of a good man are ordered by God. I don't know who called me and know I'm in church. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So if I step into blessings and prosperity it's ordered by God if I step into hardship come on it's ordered by God because what's getting ready to happen for you there's 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 a breaking and an unleashing that's taking place for you God said that you are you are already out the box but you about to be you ain't gonna even be nowhere near the box <laughs> you hear me amen some people get out the box and stay standing right there by the box no you 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 like uh you ever seen in, in, in Publix or the grocery stores, the, when they stock stuff and they get the boxes, some people, you know, they just jumble all the boxes up together, but some of them take a box cutter and break that bad boy down so it's all flat panels. God said the walls that have been around your promise is falling flat to the ground. And And I see um, a collaboration, all right? I see a collaboration, and I'm looking at a Caucasian, a white artist, okay? And this collaboration is going to be uncommon. But God, but God is getting ready to cause this thing to manifest for you because God says that there's some things that was due to you and it ain't forgotten it's just been on hold remember I was talking about David and the city of Ziklag the Bible said when in round about verse number 19 that when David went to go recover all, all his stuff was still there the enemy fed his children and wife and, and, cam, and, and cattle they nourished the enemy had to nourish his stuff and hold on to it take good care of it till he got back to claim it. 
God said, get ready to take over. Get ready to take over. Somebody point your hand out and say, Lord, do it. Yes, God. It's taking over season right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Uh, sis, stand up for me all the way in the back. Um, Monica, stand up for me. The Lord told me to tell you today that your season is also changing. And this is a season of joy for you. God knows we done had enough pain. We done went through enough. But I don't know if you was here when I read the first scripture. But he said, 1 Peter chapter number 5, verse number 10. He said, after that ye have suffered a while, I make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. There's some stuff that's getting ready to be released to you getting ready to be released to you. God said that your entire status is about to change now. Happiness is yours for the asking. I want you to take one day, just one day. If you don't do it this week, do it next week. But take one day and I want you to turn your plate over. And I want you to fast and, and give that day unto God and you watch the results that come after that God is getting ready to move for you God says you about God said tell her she's about to feel my spirit like she's never felt it before oh I see you basking in the glory of God I see you literally in your private time crying out to God saying, God, I want more of you. God, I want to feel you like I used to. I hear you. I hear you. And if I hear you, guess what? You know God hears you. You get ready because answers are coming to you in the name of Jesus. There's blessings getting ready. Some things getting ready to be worked out. And you go, and your testimony will be this. It wasn't me. I don't know how it happened. It had to be nobody but God. Uh, I see something like some paperwork that's been misplaced or lost or something regarding you and regarding a decision regarding you. But it's about to be found and things are about to be approved and worked out. God said the timing was not then, but the time is now. Come on, don't you love God? God will put stuff on hold for you. Hallelujah. Come on here. I told God I'm ready. Hallelujah. Amen. God, he's going to make me a millionaire, a multimillionaire. Hallelujah. But he got my millions on hold right now. You understand? Hallelujah. But look at somebody and tell them, I feel release in the atmosphere. I feel release in the atmosphere. I feel favor increase. Release and elevation. Yeah. Fires in the atmosphere. Depression. Yeah, mama, put your hand right there. It's being lifted right now. Whoa. And strength is here. Joy is here. Prosperity is here. Healing is here. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Dad, I got to get out of here. Hey, is hall back still open or are they closed? Are they closed? I wanted some hall backs today. I had my mouth set up for some hall back. So what y'all do for soul food? Over? We'll talk about that at the church. I got to get out of here. I got to go. Mom, I got to go, but I got to close. I'm going to close with this. Y'all stay right there. Stay right there. Just, just break it down for me a little bit. Psalms, 
66, verse 10 through 12. I can quote it without reading it because it's so relevant in my life. But I'm going to read it for you. Psalm 66, verse 10 through 12. It says, For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou brought us us into the net. Thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Yeah. Thou hast caused me to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. We went through fire <laughs> and through water. We went through fire, fire and through water. But thou brought us us out into a wealthy place. Is there anybody in here ready to enter into your wealthy place? We went through fire and through water. We went through hell, trials and tribulations. We went through sickness. We went through pandemic. We went through pain. We went through loss of loved ones. We went through loss of affection. We went through loss of mind. We went through loss of sleep. But thou, oh God, <laughs> brought us out and into a wealthy place. Look at your neighbor. I'm getting ready to go and say, welcome. <laughs> Come on, tell them, welcome. Welcome to your wealthy place. Y'all ain't, ain't happy about being wealthy. Welcome to your wealthy place. Welcome to your, come on. My health is wealthy. My family is wealthy. My marriage is wealthy. My body is wealthy. My business is wealthy. My ministry is wealthy. My relationships are wealthy. My mind is wealthy. My bank account, yes, Lord, wealthy. My vehicles, wealthy. My children, wealthy. My neighbor, wealthy. My mama, wealthy. Come on, your mama, wealthy. My daddy, wealthy. Come on, your daddy, wealthy. Lean on your neighbor and tell them welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your wealthy place. Let me see the hand of every wealthy worshiper here. You're ready to go for real, for real. Come on, let me see the hand of every wealthy worshiper. Let me see the hand of every wealthy worshiper. You better receive that thing right now. In the hand of every wealthy worshiper. Yes, God. Your husband, wealthy. Your wife. Wealthy. Your business. Wealthy. Your ministry. Wealthy. Come on. Your lyrics. Come on. Who writing in here? Wealthy. Come on here. Royalties. Y'all ain't going to help me here. Wealthy, 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 wealthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Listen, while you're worshiping. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Listen, I need six people. I need six people real quick to put a seed of $100 in your hand. 
quick. And if you, if you got to think about it, that's, that's you. I don't care. Amen. But I need six people real quick to get a wealthy seed of $100. Somebody say, why are you asking for 100 I ain't got it. Guess what? That means that one ain't, I ain't talking about you right now. Don't feel bad about it. Hallelujah. But if you have the ability, I don't care if you got to, come on, shift some stuff. You got to transfer some stuff. Whatever you got to do, get that seed in your hand right now. And watch God. Come on, get that seed in your hand right now. And watch God. Come on, you can get your credit card. You can get your cash out. You can get cash in your hand, but watch God, watch God. Saw one of my members yesterday. They said, Pastor, I've been, I've been really, I've been waiting on this, and I've been trying to get this done, and I've been trying to do that. Um, but you don't tithe. It's getting quiet right now. Come on, my bishop's name is Sammy Smith. Hallelujah. Ask him about my giving. Come on here. Amen. Come on. You're needing God to move and you're waiting on God to work a miracle. There are some things that God said, I'm going to do for you, but there's some things you're going to do to get my attention. When I was coming over here, Dad, amen, I felt that somebody could sow a seed of $1,000. I felt it. I felt it. Amen. Hallelujah. When I was driving over here, I pray over every aspect of the service from, from the opening prayer and greeting to the benediction to the laying on hands to the prophetic to the preaching to the praise and worship to the offering, everything. And I felt that. And I don't know if, if you're here and you want to release that seed, but let me tell you this. If you do that, if you sow that seed, there's a quick move a quick move that God is doing for you. When I tell you, when I say a quick move, you sowing it, Bishop? Bishop say he gonna sow it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Everything, I can't talk about next year right now, but this year, everything that you put your hands to is going to prosper, and not only that, it's going to overflow. God told me to tell you, Bishop, that he's making up for lost time. It's been a long time coming. Hallelujah. But your change is here, and it ain't going nowhere. God says, I've renewed your mind, and I've renewed your spirit. God said, I put you in a place and in a position to accomplish that. Some stuff you want to accomplish back in. 04 and 03 and 99 and 06 and 07. God said all of that was for such a time as now. You get ready. Listen, don't be moved by what you see. Because let me tell y'all the truth. When I came here, when I first got here, and it was just like a few people, I was like, thank you, Jesus. You want to know why? Because I know the intimacy. Come on, intimacy you, you, you can't be real intimate with four, five hundred people all the time. You understand? Unless you, well, we got children in here. I, ain't, you know. Anyway, uh, uh, when you're intimate, you're typically intimate with one other person. You know, unless you're swingers and all that kind of stuff. You know, but we ain't gonna talk about all that right now. <laughs> yes, God. Amen. But but I, when I saw, I came in. I said, "Listen." I said, "I said yes, God, because because you ain't gotta, you gotta." My God, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No good thing. I don't prophesy to people for money, and they know me. You hear me? They know me, and they know my word is sure and it is true. Amen. There's no good thing that God will withhold from you in this season. Let me tell you something. I don't know how you play in the cards. But if you play the hand that's been dealt to you right, there's some shifting that's getting ready to take place to where you was clocking in. Come on here. You'll be signing paychecks. You hear me? God said, lay everything out before me. And listen, you know me. When you lay it out, 
I'll fast with you and I'll pray with you. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a quick move and a quick turnaround. Your heart, I don't know what's going on in your personal family, but God is moving and he's called some stuff to be settled. He's calling some healings to take place and some miracles to manifest. I don't know who you need to call, but some phone calls you need to make. And you just need to let them know God said it's already done. In Jesus' name, seven people ought to clap your hands and give God praise in this house. Come on. Anybody else going to sow the $100 seed? Anybody else? I'm moving forward. My wife is sowing it. Monica's sowing it. Who else is on? Dad sowing it. Amen. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Did I count right? Four. Bless you, woman of God. Amen. There's two more people that can sow that seed. Hallelujah. This ain't the time to be scared of sowing, y'all. The pandemic wanted to tell us, well, save your money. Well, put your money up. You don't, know what, you, you, don't, you don't know if you're going to be able to go to the bank. Better pull all your money out of the bank. Come on. We don't operate in fear. We walk by faith and not by sight. Glory to God. Two of you. There's one person that needs a change in employment. Sow that seed. I pro you watch. I promise you. I'm looking at you like, God, I need to do a little better. Let me tell you something. Trust God to work out all of your issues. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to move forward. But somebody, you need to sow that seed. Glory to God. A simple $100. Come on, some of y'all pay more than that for shoes. I don't, praise God. Amen. But some of y'all, you, you, you know, your, your Jordans cost two and $300. What about God? Come on, your, your bundles, your weave costs $250. What about God? My mom told me, watch out now, watch out. Come on here. I tell people all the time, I don't care nothing about no designer stuff and all that kind of stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. Let God be God and let, let God work it out. Amen. Come on, two more people. I got to let y'all go. Thank you. I was hoping you were going to be one of them. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Watch the Lord move. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's one more person. I got, and I'm letting y'all go. Amen. I'm counting to five, and you've even done it by then. We're moving forward. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody else? Everybody else? I want you to get a seed as close to $66 as you can. If it, that means, prophet, I got 20, I got 21, I got 10, whatever it is, get it in your hand. And listen, uh, we ain't supposed to be doing this. Amen. But I want you to come by and you're going to shake my hand. Amen. I done got my shot. Come on. <laughs> I ain't remember, you know, I, I know that's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I got one of them. I still got to get the other one on the 19th. So, you know, but I'm covered. Praise God. I'm covered. In Jesus' name, amen. Get that seed in your hand, the seed that you're sowing. Get it in your hand right now. And with that seed in your hand, I want you to come, amen, and you're going to shake my hand, and you're just going to simply say overflow. Just say overflow. Bless you in Jesus' name. I love, the, I love to see these young people working like this. Amen. I love it. Come on, get your seed. Get your seed in your hand, everyone. Say, if you're sowing that thousand or that hundred, come on, bring it up. Amen. Hallelujah. And just shake my hand. And I ain't got to say nothing else to you but overflow. And you watch God overflow in Jesus' name. Come on. Yes. Yes. Overflow. Yes. Overflow. Yes. Yes. Overflow. Yes. Yes. Overflow. Yes. Yes. Monica. Oh. But we gonna, we, look, we're going to get that straight, then I'm going to do a paint job on it for you. All right? Overflow in Jesus' name. Overflow in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless you. Heal. Touch right now by your power, by your spirit, God. In Jesus' name. It's done. In Jesus' name. Yay! Overflow. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wave your hand and say, yeah. Look at my babies. Shake daddy hands, say overflow. Shake daddy hands, say overflow. Oh, 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 oh. 
Overflow. Yes. Come on. Take that in here. Overflow. Oh. Oh. Overflow. Come on. Bring your seed from all over the building. Whatever it is that you're sowing. Come on. They look like me. I told I've been trying to tell them all now. Come on. Say yeah. Say. Um, who they go to with the card? Bishop. Who, who takes who takes the card? Who takes the, the cards? You ain't got the card right now? You, you got a cash out? No, no. You ain't got card right now. We do cash out. All right. Who that's coming from? Overflow. Bless you, woman of God. Overflow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. You're getting ready to get some good news. You hear me? I'm telling you. Get yourself. Let me tell you something. I'm talking about keep your bag packed, okay? Keep one packed. Matter of fact, when you get home, pack one just to pack it. Just pack it. You watch what I tell you. Watch God. Amen. Yes. Overflow. Bless you. Amen. Yeah, 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 Okay, we almost there. <laughs> Say yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they mama be, they listen, they mama be put, taking them through it. They be in there having children, church, choir rehearsal. And she be, nope, say this, this, this. I say, Lord, have mercy. Amen. And the baby be trying to sing it too. Baby, say yeah, yeah. Ah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh. Have I shaken everybody's hand? Come on, just whatever your best seat is, and I'm letting y'all go right now. Amen. I wasn't that long now. Let me see. All right. That wasn't that bad, was it? All right. You know, I get long-winded, but I had some stuff I had to get out of me today. Hallelujah. The devil is in for a rude awakening. I don't bother the devil too long. He don't bother me. I don't bother him too much. But you can't touch nothing connected to me. I think I'm going to just step back and watch. All right. Um, okay, so listen. Those of you that, that were sowing the $100 seed and everything, um, make sure we make sure we're doing what we said we were going to do. Amen. Make sure we got you send on cash. What's the ca what's the cash app? All right. What's the cat? What is it? so we saying what's the what's the cash app name um okay um uh, dollar sign r l c inc 21 r l c i n c 21 send something on that cash app listen that it's and especially if you've been troubled in your spirit lately Come on, send it. Some of you need uh, another hedge of protection. All of that good stuff. Send send something on that cash out. Get the R L C I N C twenty one. I'm about to change my my cash out. I went to a funeral yesterday, and uh, at the repast, it, it was at the um, the American Legion, right? And so the the photographer's banner was up there, and I I saw his I saw his cash app, cash tag, and I fell in love. I said, I'm about to change mine. His cash app is pay me please 21. <laughs> pay me please. How can you pay me please 21? I said, you can't forget that. Amen. 
So listen, if, is everybody happy with your giving? Uh, make sure, make sure. There are certain things that you need to do. If you, if you are not a tither, please get yourself together in that regard. A lot of people don't believe in it. I know this one lady, she believed all, she believed 65 books of the Bible. But when it comes to Malachi, she don't want nothing to do with that one. I said, you can't believe all 65 and then don't believe that one. There's 66 of them. You got to believe the whole thing. Please get yourself in order in that regard. There are benefits. There are things when you are a tither. Come on here. That's why stuff that's going on in my family right now, I ain't, I, I've, been, I've been all down and stuff. But at the end of the day, I ain't worried about it because God is obligated to protect me and mine. Come on. He, he said, I rebuke the devourer for your sake. Come on here. Amen. He said, I'll open up a window from heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. There are certain things that come with it. And, and when you think, oh, well, I just, uh, I'm going to just shout and just give God praise, but I ain't got to do all that. All right. Stay like he is then. Oh, let me be proper. Stay like you are. <laughs> Understand? Hallelujah. Now, now, my mama wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to preach with this, right? <laughs> She'd be like, oh, young man, I can't. I'm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm just using for an example. That would have threw her off so, <laughs> so bad. That camera all up there. My mama wouldn't have been able to do it. She'd be like, baby, you're going to have to stand over there with that camera. <laughs> I love it, though. I love to see the young people working and, 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 and being diligent and being astute with what they're doing. Amen? All right. Anybody else? I'm getting ready to go. All right, so have I, have I shaken everybody's hand? I've shaken everybody's hand. All right. Father, we thank you right now. Bless the seeds that we've received today in your name. Bless the cash. Bless the cash app. Bless each and every heart, God, that was obedient and those that actually had a desire to but did not have the means. Bless them, God, in the name of Jesus. You said you give seed to the sower, and I thank you, God, that is done and so in the name of Jesus. Bless now like never before, 1,000-fold in Jesus' name. All of God's people said amen. Come on, say amen again, and say amen again. Amen. Before I turn it over, amen, I need to know that I need to know what's where is the so where, where where where's the soul food spot at around here? Cause friends, oh where Fred, where friends at now? Harden, oh okay good okay, praise God, from whom all blessings floweth. <laughs> Amen. Are all hearts clear? Amen. I've enjoyed being with y'all today. Amen. I pray that you've received what thus said the Lord. Amen. Um, I thank God again. My mother, amen, Pastor Alma is here, amen. Um, I should have threw her this mic when we was prophesying, hallelujah. I promise you, I could have sat down and she'd have read, come on, like a book, hallelujah, amen. So we're grateful, amen, thank God for my wife and my children and my mother-in-law, amen. And we're just going to give God praise for all of you, amen. Can y'all do me a favor and clap it up one more time for these musicians? Glory to God, amen. The praise and worship, everything was phenomenal, awesome. Amen. Thank God for the, the, the sound, every, everything. Amen. Glory to God. I, you know, I, I, I said, boy, I like y'all camera. Look like I done came down about two or three pounds. Yeah. You know, well, <laughs> I need, I need y'all to follow me sometime. Praise God. When I do my, yeah, my hair look all right, you know, because it ain't good right now, but it look, all right, I'm just talking. All right, come on. Who am I turning this over to? Amen. Amen. Coming over to that. Y'all do me a favor. This man of God, amen, I love him. Amen. I always say, and I didn't say it earlier, but I, I ain't going to leave without saying it. I pray to God when I get his age that my swag still be on point. You understand? Dad is dapper. Come on. Come on. He's a swagged out man of God. And he's awesome. Amen. Anointed, full of wisdom, and full of the Holy Ghost. Y'all clap your hands for Apostle Young Laster Senior. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. I'm just here to get a benediction. That's why I'm here today. Amen. I thank God for my spiritual son. Didn't he preach today? Come on. Didn't he minister today? Amen. I thank God for him. 
Amen. We're so blessed, amen, just to have the prophet in the house, amen, to minister to us and share the word of the Lord with us, amen. And, and to my cousin, where is she at? Oh, my God. Clarita. Clarita? Oh, my God. What a powerful praise. Sir. I was over there. I was, I was Look, I was, I'm in tears. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm over there. I'm, I'm saying, man, why am I about to cry here? What, what's going on? Lord have mercy. I, I, saw, uh, I saw Dr. George in here. I said, I see your, I, I, I told my wife, I said, I see your mother in here. I've heard a minister before, but never like that. She took, she took praise to a whole new level. I said it was going to go to a level, a crescendo that we have never gone before. And didn't it go there? Didn't praise go there? My God, that girl took us to took us to the highest height, amen, today. Amen. We experience heaven today here on earth. Amen. I thank God for her. Amen. That She is so anointed. My God, so powerful. And I thank God for her. I, 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 I got to hear her preach, man. It, it, it's some down in them bones, amen. I got to hear her preach. Amen. She, she's got all Holy Ghost all up in here. Everywhere. Amen. I mean, anointed everywhere. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Amen. Glory to God. I thank God for her. Amen. And my spiritual son, amen, just expounding on the word today, man, like nobody else. Amen. I love him to life, and I thank God for him and for all of you who are here today. Amen. We just want you to be mindful, amen, that hopefully next month, amen, we're looking forward to starting our communion service again, amen. Hopefully we'll be safe starting next month. And I want you to pray for my family, amen. They had a gathering last Saturday, and all of my sisters came down with COVID. Every one of them that was there at the gathering got COVID, and my brother. So my brother's in the VA hospital in Tampa. I have one sister in Orlando. My other sister's down in Wachula. And the other one is here in Lakeland. So, yeah, they, they all wind up with COVID. Amen. And they, they, need, and they, they, they all need your prayers. Amen. Well, they're all preachers. All them preachers. So, amen. So, just, just pray for them and my, my, my. My granddaughter, she wound up with COVID too. She was there at the party, amen. At the self birthday party, had a birthday party for my my uh, nephew. He has COVID, and I talked to my sister who has pneumonia with her COVID on yesterday, and uh, she told me to pray for her daughter-in-law because her other son and his wife both got COVID. And the daughter-in-law is not doing that good. Okay, so, man, we family come together. You know, you, you got to, COVID is still here. It's still killing folks. It has not stopped killing folks. Amen. I don't know why these folks run around not getting vaccinated. Are you taking a chance? You're playing Russian roulette with your life, not being vaccinated. I got vaccinated three months ago, my wife and myself. And, and we're, we're good. And we were there at the party. I'm still good. You know, we went there. We fellowship. We got there late, though. We wasn't there that long, but we fellowship with everybody. And, and we're doing good. Amen. So I'm just saying, just lift my family up in prayer. And we thank God for you. They want to get out here on a downer. Amen. But I thank God for my son, Bishop Young, and his wife. Amen. Such a inspiration to us and encouragement he's always doing something always making something happen always thinking out of the box amen and i just thank god for him amen his wife amen my daughter-in-law she's been so faithful to us down through the years i mean just faithful on top of faithful amen i could never ask for anything we can never ask for anything any more than that amen all right we love y'all we thank god for you thank god for all your visitors thank god for everybody being here today amen amen our hearts and minds are clear we're getting ready to get out of here amen everybody's standing all over the building amen look at your neighbor and say neighbor i'm too blessed to be stressed <laughs> come on come on y'all like like come on say it one more time say neighbor 
I'm too blessed to be stressed. Father, we leave this place, but never your presence. Post angels all around your people. Give them traveling mercy over the dangerous highways. Protect them from danger seen and unseen. Bring them back to this place at an appointed time. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you.